Did you know that you could save articles in Safari on the iPhone for later reading without adding them as a bookmark? And when you do this, it'll save it offline. So if your iPhone's not online, you'll still be able to read that article. And once you've read that article, it'll remove it from the reading list or mark it as read, I should say. You can always find it later. This is all done through the reading list in Safari. Also, those articles that you're adding to that reading list, you can find them on your Mac and your iPad. Let's take a look at the reading list in Safari on the iPhone. Let's go to my iPhone. Now, the first thing I want to mention is I am using iOS 16, but this is not an iOS 16 feature. This has been around for several versions of iOS. This is a Safari feature. I'm going to be showing this in Safari, but it does not need to have iOS 16. All right, let's take a look at why we may want to use a reading list. I'm going to go over to Safari here. I'm at Macworld. Now, what I would like to do is mark a number of different articles that I want to read later. I don't have time to read them now, but I'm on their page, and I would like to read them later. Well, in order to do that, all we have to do is just long press on the article. So I'm going to long press on this article here, and when I do, I get a little menu that pops up, and you're going to see, down towards the bottom here, Add to Reading List. All I have to do is just tap on that and it'll add it to my reading list. Let's go ahead and do that a couple more times, and then I'll show you where you find these articles for later reading. So I swipe up. We're going to go with this article here, long press, and add it to the reading list. And let's go with one more. We're going to go with this article here, long press, and then we go in add it to the reading list. So now I've just added three articles to my reading list. As you can see, it works a little bit like bookmarks, but here's where it differs from bookmarks. When I go to read those articles, it'll remove it from that list automatically. With a bookmark, it'll stay in there permanently. Well, with a reading list, it'll remove it from my list automatically. So let's go and find those articles that I've marked for reading later. Well, basically what we need to do is we need to go to where our bookmarks in history are. So what I do is I tap on the book I this is going to be at the bottom of your display on the iPhone. When I tap on the book icon, you're going to see that I have my history, and then I also have my bookmarks. But in the middle, what we have here is my reading list. So all I have to do is just tap on this, and now I can see those articles. So now all I need to do is just tap on the article, and when I do, it's going to open up that article, and I can read that article. I want to go to the next article. Two different ways to do this. I can go back down to my bookmarks here, make sure I'm looking at my reading list, and then go and tap on the next article. But there's an easier way to do this. I can also just go to the bottom of the article. Let's go ahead and swipe up. I'm reading this article. It's a little bit of a longer article, so I got to go all the way down to the bottom here. And when I do that, you're going to see down towards the bottom here, up next. When I swipe up, it's going to go to the next article in the reading list. So let's go ahead and do that. I swipe up, and now I'm looking at the next article in the reading list. I scroll up. We can see we have up next here. I swipe up, and now I'm at the next article. So I don't really have to go over to this little icon here. But let's go ahead and do that. Now I've read all three articles, right? Watch what happens. This is the beauty of a reading list. It removes them from my reading list. They're no longer here. So as I add articles and read them, this list here is going to be managed automatically. I don't have to worry about removing them like I would with a bookmark. Now the beauty of this is, is I can also view my history. So it is still there. So if I go down to show all, I am able to view all of my articles that I've saved. I can even search them. But the way that this really shines is when you show the unread. I go and add an article to this. Let's go ahead and add this article. I go to the share icon. We go to add reading list. And now when I go to my reading list, you can see that article is there. Once I read that article and I go back, it is no longer there because I've read the article. So it's like a self-managed bookmark. 
Now, what we can also do is save our articles for offline reading. Let's go ahead and add a couple more articles. So I'm going to go back here, and we're going to go with this article here. So I go to Share, Add to Reading List, and let's go back one more. We'll go with this one, Share, Add to Reading List, and we'll take a look at this one, long press on it, and Add to Reading List. So now those are in my reading list. Now, if I were no longer on a network, I would not be able to read these articles. So what I need to do now is make sure that I can read them offline. Not really critical when you're on an iPhone because most of the time the iPhone is on a network, but you can save these for offline reading if you know you're going to be in an area where there is not a network. How do we do that? Well, basically all we have to do is just swipe over to the left and you're going to see Save Offline. I just tap on this, and now it's going to download that article for offline reading. So even if I'm not on the Internet, I'll still be able to read it. Now what I like to do is make sure that Safari does this automatically. I don't want to have to do that for every article. Well, if we go over to our Settings app here, and then we go over to Safari, so just scroll up until you find Safari here. We look at all the settings down towards the bottom, you're going to see reading list, and what we're able to do is automatically save them offline. So what I like to do is make sure that this is turned on. When this is turned on, any article that I add to the reading list will now be saved offline. Now let's say you wanted to remove an article. You no longer want to have it in the reading list. How can we do that? Well, all we have to do is just swipe over to the left and you're going to see delete. I just keep swiping and it deletes it. So I just swipe and delete. Now why do I no longer have the option to save offline? Well that's because it's saving it offline automatically. So it, I don't have to select to save it offline. Now let's say I read an article and I want to reread that so I need to mark it as unread. What I'm going to do is go over to show all here. And let's say that this article here, I want to reread it, so I need to add it back into my reading list. If I go over to Show Unread, it's not there. Go to Show All, there it is. How can I add it back into that list? All you have to do is just go over to the article and you swipe to the right. And now that article is marked as unread. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. We're going to go with the Ford Mustang here. And... Swipe over to the right. It is now marked as unread. So now, what do you think we're going to see when we see Show Unread? We're going to see those two articles in here. Even though I've read them, I mark them as unread, and I can reread them again, or they're in my reading list. And then, of course, if you're using iCloud and you're syncing Safari, anything that we add to our reading list here will be added to the iPad and iPhone. I especially like this because then when I add an article in here, I don't necessarily like to read articles on the iPhone. There's a lot of ads and it gets a little bit noisy. It's much easier to read on a Mac or even an iPad. Well, anything that I add to this reading list here will show up in my reading list on my iPad and my iPhone, as long as I'm signed into the same iCloud account on all the devices. So these reading lists are kept in sync with our other devices. So that is basically all we have to do to save articles in Safari on the iPhone. We just long press on the article. We add it to our reading list. Once we add it to our reading list at a later date, later time, we can go to our reading list. And then we can go and read those articles. We just tap on the article to read it. We swipe up, get to the bottom of the article. And then we keep swiping up. And it'll go to the next article. Of course, you can always show your history of your reading list. You can search that history, and you can delete items as you want. And then you can also mark items that you've read as unread. So that is our reading list in Safari on the iPhone.